This is a huge redstone monster that breathes fire. And this is a dirty creeper? These are 28 secret Minecraft mobs you didn't know existed. And starting with a melon golem? Yeah, that's right. A brother to the snowman, this weirdly creepy guy could only be found in Minecraft Earth. He uses melon seeds to fight off enemies instead of snowballs, which only do half a heart of damage. But hey, that's better than what these silly snowmen can do. They can't even do basic math. Yeah, I can. What's five times five? Um... Three! Wrong. But even crazier is the love golem. Oh, isn't he cute? The brother to the iron golem, these guys spawn in villages just like their steel-clad brothers. But we're all about peace and love, man. They were totally passive, even to zombies attacking their villager friends. I wonder why that could have been. The love golem was added in the Love and Hugs update, where Mojang blessed us with even more wholesome new mobs. Check out the pink wither. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything goofier? Oh, you have? Oh, my bad. Instead of the dark and deadly damage the normal weather would deal to your world, this guy spreads grass and flowers everywhere, just like bone meal. And what about the smiling creeper? There's not much to talk about here. But at least they're happy. Wait, wait, don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Oh, puppies. Cute. Chickens are one of my favorite animals in Minecraft, but I sometimes wish they could do more than just that. That's why the diamond chicken was the best. I mean, they were bright blue, and instead of eggs lay diamonds. Now that's more like it. <laughs> Some mods even add these back, but with stone, iron, and gold chickens too, this is way better than mining. Although the gold does smell a bit funny. Oh, I think this might be poo. Most people think Alpha was the first version of Minecraft, but something called InDev was actually earlier than that. This super basic version of the game feels a bit like a fever dream, especially when you see one of these things skipping past you. This, apparently, is a human, though I'm not sure their heads are supposed to move like that. I don't think it's healthy. Truly, the stuff of nightmares. Well, if you think that's crazy, wait until you see the strangest mobs in Minecraft. That award goes to these Funko Pop looking things. Seriously, what on earth am I looking at? Their names were Rana, Beast Boy and Steve. And they didn't even have animations. They just glided motionless around the world like some creepy ghost from the future. Rana looked straight out of a Pokemon game. She's pretty cool. Just a glance of a creeper in the corner of your eye is enough to send shivers down any Minecraft spine. But when it looked like this, suddenly they're not scary. This is the Nerd Creeper. Another April Fool's mob, but one I really wish stayed longer. They were exactly the same as regular creepers, but when you killed them, they dropped this weird glitchy 3D item and instead of gunpowder. This didn't do much at all, but if you ate it, it displayed an image of Minecraft's developers. Nerd creepers never spawned naturally, but if you typed NERD in chat, one would appear right in front of you. Wait, no, that's too close! Did you know there are mobs you can only spawn in with cheats? The biggest of these has to be the giant, clocking in at 12 blocks tall. These things dwarf most people's mansions. If you spawn them in now, they don't do anything. But back in the 1.7 update, these things could run round and deal damage damage to you. 13 hearts to be precise, and that's on easy mode. What's even crazier is that the code says these things technically can still spawn. They just require impossible conditions, like having bright and dark light at the same time. So, little Timmy, that's why you shouldn't be scared of the dark. Oh my goodness! If you're pro, you'll know all about skeleton horses, which are a super rare and powerful type of horse. But alongside these, there's actually an unused zombie horse mob in the game too. They can be summoned with commands just the same as giants, but unlike their undead brothers, they actually move without being tamed, and they're pretty cool too. You can ride them just the same as normal horses, and they even regenerate health over time. They're so OP that harming potions actually heal them. This means they're the only totally passive undead mob in the game. Everyone loves bunnies. They're cute, fluffy, and ah, painful. This is the killer bunny, and you've got to be wary of this one. It's a pure white rabbit with evil intentions. If you get hit within six 16 blocks of one, it'll lock on and lunge straight at you, dealing four hearts of damage. And if these bunnies can't find a player, they'll search for foxes and wolves to attack instead. Thankfully, these guys aren't naturally spawning and only work with commands. Art imitates life, I suppose. But a mod I wish spawned in naturally was this unused pillager, and it's probably the coolest one yet. It's called the Illusioner. And instead of just using boring crossbows and axes, this one casts spells. And if you even just get close to one of them, it turns completely invisible and summons four duplicates in its place. <laughs> I'm starting to see why these things were removed. They're so overpowered. Go, dog, go!
Oh, what a, what, what a shame. Pets are a man's best friend, but we're starved for fluffy buddies in Minecraft. All we have are dogs, cats, foxes, and parrots. We need more cuteness! Yet again, a hidden mob in Minecraft dungeons solves this. My favorites are the hedgehogs and the ferrets. They're just so adorable. And guess what? They don't even attack mobs, and the hedgehogs just roll around. Oh, it's too cute! Wait, why is it putting on shoes? Why is it turning blue? No! Speaking of Minecraft dungeons, it is filled with mobs that so far haven't been added to the regular game. One of these is the icy, icy, I, ice soldier? Ice soldier, ice soldier. What a strange name. Thank God some game files call it the chillager. That's a much better name. The chillager is a mysterious cloaked type of pillager and summons ice chunks that it hurls at the player, dealing damage and slowness if it hits. It was actually part of the 2020 Minecraft mob vote, but was just beaten by the glow squid. I'm looking at you, Dream. This is why there's an achievement in dungeons called Isologer's Revenge for killing a glow squid with an ice staff. But we'll talk more about the mob votes later, including a hidden Minecraft sea monster? How about this sick looking wizard illager called the Wind Caller? Apparently, it possesses mastery over the wind, so it's literally an airbender. Wind callers fly around in the sky, using its staff to blow gusts of wind at you, as well as summon tornadoes beneath you, launching you into the air. Guys, we've just invented a new form of air travel. There's also the Mage Illager, a purple wizard that magically picks you up and then smashes you back into the ground without the yelling. But you can yell if you want to. Smash! It feels good. And finally, these tough, rugged mountaineers. They use their ice picks to attack you and deal damage that way. They're also able to dig their picks into the ground so they don't get blown away by the harsh mountain winds. Could you imagine if Minecraft had all these cool mobs and ideas? It'd be so cool! Silverfish are the most annoying mob ever! I'm not sure I've met anyone that likes them or even knows why they're in the game. But somehow, Mojang managed to make them even worse. Back in the Minecraft 2.0 April Fool's update, they added redstone bugs, and they are exactly as they sound. Having a chance to spawn whenever redstone was set off. The more of them nearby, the higher the chance they had to spawn, meaning they got out of control very easily. I mean, very easily. They're everywhere! Help! But unlike redstone bugs, Wandering Trader is an awesome idea for a mob. But because of how terrible their trades are, they're kind of useless. However, Minecraft Minecraft Dungeons actually fix that by adding an extra type of merchant called the Luxury Merchant. This guy comes from a land far, far away and sells rare, valuable items that players haven't discovered yet. But it's not cheap. For certain trades, you even have to slay a certain number of mobs and mini bosses. Nothing's ever free in this world. There's also the Mystery Merchant, who sells you loot boxes with random loot inside. But don't worry, these aren't like CSGO cases, as you can buy these with plain old emeralds. He gives you different types of gear based and what case you buy. So if you need a new sword and you're feeling lucky, you can take a chance to win a brand new enchanted diamond sword. Just don't get addicted. The Phantom, Glow Squid, and Alley were all added in mob votes. But I bet you didn't know the panda was as well. That's right, it was actually added in a secret Chinese mob vote to celebrate the release of Minecraft China. Other contenders were crocodiles, monkeys, deer, and pink dolphins. Obviously, the panda is way cooler than the rest. But imagine monkeys in Minecraft. They might have given squid competition for goofiest mob. But then again, crocodiles would have made swamps and jungles way more dangerous. Talking about these votes, could you remember what the other options were in 2017? Alongside the Phantom, they showed us the terrifying Barnacle. Trust me, it's scarier than it sounds. It's supposed to be a huge sea monster found deep in the ocean. It would suck you underwater using its tentacles and wouldn't let you escape from its slimy grasp unless you managed to kill it. Which raises the question, why would you want to kill it? I just want to be held. There was also a mob called the Great Hunger, which is a a pretty powerful name for a mob that looks like this. He's just a little lizard guy, and he didn't even attack you. Instead, it was supposed to be able to add or remove enchantments to your items. But as we know, the grindstone ended up doing that instead. Poor thing. Imagine being replaced by literally just a rock. And then more recently, there was a copper golem. Hey! Give me back my job! <clears throat> Anyway. And then more recently, there was a copper golem. Smaller and less threatening than its iron brothers, but not without its uses. If it was added, it would have come with copper buttons and would have loved to press them, allowing for all sorts of automatic machines and contraptions. And contraptions. Stay away from me, Rock. I'm warning you. Turns out there's actually a bunch more golems that Mojang never ended up adding. First off, there's the furnace golem from Minecraft Earth. They're another variant of the classic iron golem, but have a burning desire to take out any mob using their fiery attacks. Along 
alongside its normal melee attack, they were even able to light the ground around their enemy on fire, which caused real trouble for the village they were protecting. Then there's the Squall Golem. These guys behave eerily similar to the Warden. In dungeons, they start off totally still on the ground, until a nearby resonance crystal is activated. This is when they power up and quickly charge towards you, attacking you with quick, fast-paced attacks like a supercharged Iron Golem. They can even cause huge shockwaves that send you flying through the air. And we can't forget the infamous Redstone Monstrosity, a gigantic golem boss that's even immune to lava. It's a huge, hulking, mechanical piece of rock covered in redstone patches with three glowing eyes and two massive horns on its head. It has tons of powerful attacks, including a fireball attack where it shoots projectiles that deal huge damage, a slam attack where it hits the ground and knocks you back like a TNT blast, and a summon attack where 12 redstone cubes leap from the ground and attack you. If you ask me, this seems way more fun than the Ender Dragon fight. I'm about to start playing dungeons instead. Sayonara, Minecraft. And the best part is, if you ever manage to actually take out this crazy strong boss, which I certainly couldn't, it's not even over. Later on in the game, you can come across the Mooshroom monstrosity, which appears to be the body of an ancient redstone monstrosity somehow brought back to life by mushroom spores. Its attacks aren't quite as crazy though. It just like spawns cows sometimes. <laughs> Never mind, it's quite powerful too. And guess what? Most people who watch Mallow aren't subscribed. So subscribe, goddammit. How many more dogs does it take to get a subscription from you? <sighs>